I'm going to show you how I made this card. Most of the products used are from Stampin' Up! But there are some things that are not because I don't have everything just yet. I want to, what I did is I prepped everything up first to get the card started. So to make the balloons, what I did is I took, um, we'll use the color purple that I have here, which is um, Elegant Eggplant. And what I did is I took this, stamped it once, and then I placed it on the card. Okay, then once I'm done with that, I take the balloon top, the one that I want, as a design, and I put it on top, and then I layer it right on top. So it looks like that. And then once I um, got the balloons, once I've got the balloons stamped, what I did is I put it into my puncher. Hold on one moment. Put it in like so. So it looks like that. And I made three different colors. Made the purple, a reddish color, and a green color. What I also did is I um, I made the, um, the wood backing. I bought the Sizzix stuff from, um, I got it at AC Moore, but Stampin' Up! to sell one, and what I did is I, um, I stamped this. Sorry. Once I've done that, I'll take my paper that I have and I put it in so and I put it in like that. And I put it in my Big Kick Sizzix machine. Again, Stamp Stampin' Up has a product very similar to it. I already had this at home before getting started. And I have my my look there. Um, I also used that same machine to use the on the um, balloons. I made the little the little bow ties there. And all I did was just glue the bow the bow tie onto the um, the bow onto the balloon. I don't know what happened to the one I did. Hmm. Well, I'll add it on after the work, after. So what I did is I took my paper. My, it was five and, five and a half by 11. And I, you know, I folded it in half. And what I did is I took the um, purple, the eggplant elegant the elegant eggplant and just did this all around the edges around the whole card in the front okay What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use my, I'm going to stamp everything that should be black. I'm using the color black. Okay. This is going to be on her side. Oh. Okay. 
that goes on its side. I'm going to need a, um, this is going to be the, um, the stamp that says, hey, check. And so, so what I did afterwards is I colored her hair. You can do whatever color you want. It doesn't even have to be in any particular order. Okay, I did that color. And I did this teal color. Okay. Don't really have to paint much, anything else, because it's going to the, um, it's going to be underneath the wood grain look. What I did is I took an aqua brush. And I just did that, just so that it all blends in together. Okay. Okay. Once I did that, I cut a um a tag. And I did the same thing with the edges. Oh, I got the black one this time. Instead of the eggplant, elegant eggplant. Okay. I also did the same thing also to this, to this one. And I colored it and I saved it for, I did it ahead of time for, just for saving some time. Okay, now to put everything together. Um, take this card. You can use whatever glue that you like. Cover up her body. Okay. Like that. Now I want to take the balloons. Oh, before I put the balloons, you're going to need some strings. So what I did is, I took the strings and I put a, a glue dot, glue square, to hold it in place. Okay. Okay, you're going to do that to all three balloons. Okay. All right. I happen to not have a balloon with a string and with a bow at the bottom, so I'm gonna use that one at the bottom and cover it up. So I go ahead 
and I take out this sticker here and just put it in place on where I want it to go. Okay, you're going to do that with all three balloons. Okay, you just put it where you want it to go. Okay, then I want to make sure that all three ties are equally at the bottom. Okay, then I want to make sure that it's held in place by a glue dot. And I'm going to adhere my stick.